Okay, now I'm on P82, the back side of the homework. Let's get started. A graph shows the distance of a car traveled over time. The x-axis represents the time in hours, and the y-axis represents the distance in miles. The graph contains the point 3165. What does this point represent? Well, so what it's asking is, well, our first number is x, our second number is y. So what does that 3 represent? Well, this tells us in the problem the x-axis represents time in hours. So the 3 means um, after 3 hours, and what are we talking about? How far a car traveled. The car will have traveled is it two L's or one L on traveled oh one L I see it right here good after three hours the car will have traveled and then Y axis represents the distance so our Y is 165 the car will have traveled 165 miles. All right, on to number two. Mora charges $11 per hour. So that's $11 per one hour to babysit. She makes a graph comparing the amount she charges. So the amount she charges is the Y. So remember, if we're looking at coordinates, we have X, then Y. To the time she babysits, time she babysits is the x, which ordered pair shown is not going to be on the graph. So she already told us um, the amount she charges is her y, so she charges $11, and the time is her x to 1. Okay, so uh, time is her x, time she babysits is the x coordinate. Okay. Well, I can already see right now which one does not have uh, 1, 11, or if I continued this, it would be 2, 22, then 3, 33, and so on. So I can see right here this is flipped. Uh, she told us that the amount she charges is the Y. And on this problem, they or on this ordered pair, they put the amount she charges as the x. So which ordered pair shown is not on the graph? This ordered pair right here, 11, 1. Okay, number three, list is 0, negative 4, and 3 from least to greatest. You don't want to draw a number line. You have 0, 1, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And if we graph those points, boom, boom, boom. Uh, now you should be able to list these numbers from least to greatest. Okay, what two numbers can be used in place of the box to make the statement true? So what two numbers? You're going to have a, I'll give you a clue, you're going to have a positive and a negative number that you could put here to find the absolute value, and it would equal 8 ninths. Okay, number 5, Morgan plots the point 4, negative 7. Remember, x is first, so the 4 is on the x-axis and y axis negative 7. If she reflects the point across the y axis, what are the coordinates of the reflected point? So again, you're going to need graph paper for this problem. So go ahead and get your graph paper. Remember you're going to have y in the sky and x, and since this is going to be 4 negative 7, it's going to be down here, and then you're reflecting across the y-axis. So the other point is going to be down here, okay, in 
let me think what quadrant is that one two three so your first point is going to be in quadrant four and your reflected point is going to be in quadrant three but I'll let you get your graph paper to find out exactly where that other point is going to be <clears throat> again if you need extra help besides this don't hesitate to raise your hand Jonathan drove 220 miles in four hours Assuming he drives the same rate, how far will he travel in seven hours? So again, we have 220 miles in four hours. And in this particular problem, they want to know how far he'll go in seven hours. Now to do this, I would have to do a step before this to find out my mystery number. I need to find the unit rate. So I want to know how far he goes in one hour. So I divide by four to get one. And once I know that, I know what to do to the top. Divide 220 divided by four. So I'm going to go ahead and show my work right up here. 220. Now you have scratch paper, so use your scratch paper. Uh, four goes into, tw can't go into two. It can go into 22 five times. Five times four is 20. Subtract gives me 2, bring down my 0. 4 goes into 20 five times. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract gives me 0. So my unit rate is 55 to 1. So now I can figure out 55 to 1 and make that equivalent to the number I don't know over 7. So now I'll let you solve it from here. To get 1 to 7, you're going to have to multiply by 7. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top as well. So I'll let you do that multiplication 55 times 7 to find the missing number. But of course, if you need any help, don't hesitate. Raise your hand.